What's the worst sex ed advice you received at school? Don't try to stick your dick too far in. BC a baby will grab hold of it and pull its way out. The sx ed I had in school consisted entirely of a 20 minute video in 3rd or 4th grade that basically amounted to sometimes you'll pee your pants when you're asleep but it's not pee. This is normal and in health class we had a unit on STDs. Not like how to prevent. Treat them. But wow. This sucks. Look at all those rashes and hives you can get. No girl will ever want sx from a boy. Ever. This isn't advice but my sx ed teacher told us. Ejaculate is the whitest substance on earth. Edit. Ro. This really blew up so I'll add some more detail. She was a relatively young teacher. I did argue with her but she just told me to stop being difficult. I insisted she was wrong but she said the textbook knew more than me. But being teenage boy at the time. Your sx ed teachers come looks like whiteout. We were told that a wet dream produced an amount of fluid tantamount to wetting the bed. They didn't even tell us what fluid it was. If you have sx. You will get gonorrhea. And you will die. I knew this genius at school from the football team who I once heard saying yeah so if you finish inside a girl try your hardest to pee in her. The acidity of pee will kill the sperm. Fortunately we were in anatomy class and my teacher heard it too. She gave us a quick and actual sx ed class right there and then. As a guy. The only thing I learned from sx ed, and this was for all the boys to learn once the girls were separated, was that pregnancy can happen and this what an anatomically correct penis is. An anatomically correct penis? They trying to shame some poor kid? The STD talk during my middle school's health class comprised of a vague video showing a paintbrush dipping into various paints. One after another. Until there was a messy smear of colors everywhere. The advice was. Verbatim. Girls. Don't let other people's paint get anywhere near you. Art class afterwards was real fun though. Don't have sx or your penis will fall off. Flex tape fixes everything. I'm 24 and when I was a freshman in high school my health teacher legit told us that women could get pregnant by just sleeping naked next to a man. She told us of her best friend who never had sex. But kissed and hugged a man naked and got pregnant. I mentioned my age because that kind of bad crazy take on sx ed seemed outdated to us and it was relatively recent. It was a public school 2BTW. Yeah. She would get naked just to kiss and hug. Seems like a legit story. Condoms are worthless so don't bother. This was at a public school in an abstinence only state. The statistics they gave us were that condoms fail 16% of the time. Because there are tiny pores in them. And sometimes human sperm can swim through those pores. The HIV virus is 100% smaller than a human sperm so how often do you think it can get through those pores? As an adult I found out that these BS claims are based on lambskin condoms which actually say right on the package that they are not recommended for the prevention of disease because they do. In fact. Have microscopic pores in them. But like. I don't even know where you would get these condoms. All the ones I've ever seen in a store are latex. Which has no pores. And are far from useless. It was unsolicited sx advice from a psych TA. Don't go into dark alleys because you will end up having sx in there. With who? No freaking idea. Maybe the weird alley sx goblins. That sx isn't supposed to end until the ladies boobs start whistling. This sounds like something your older brother would come up with and tell you to with you. When I was homeschooled my mom told me that emsturbating caused cancer because you'd be too aggressive to your ball sack due to the motion. I feel bad for my father now. That's ironic because it actually helps to prevent prostate cancer. Men are completely incapable of controlling themselves. Made it sound to everyone that we had no control over our bodies. Thoughts or actions and that we spray urine and semen at everything that crosses our path. As a Muslim raised girl. This one s me off. 
In some religions cultures they put an emphasis on covering up girls so they won't get our ped. If you ask why. The answer is men can't control themselves. This is such a harmful mindset because men are viewed as primitive beings that have no control of their actions. And that if anything happens to a girl it's a fault for provoking the man with her clothes actions. It's a tight take all around that infuriated me to no end. Wrap it twice. Just as nice. The condoms rub against one another and have a greater chance of breaking. One is fine. What you do is you put one on and then add hot sauce and then put on the other one. I had a gym teacher say it's impossible to have sx with a woman if she didn't want to because the hole closes up if she doesn't want to. He went to jail for guess what. Tax fraud. I basically had the same sx said they gave in mean girls. The whole condoms don't work. Pills don't guarantee 100%. So if you have sx. You will get pregnant. If you have sx. I had no sx education. Not from parents or school. Our school's excuse for sx ed was a one hour presentation where the girls and boys were separated. Girls were taught about periods. What an std was and how pregnancy happens. Nothing about actual sx. Nothing about men's bodies. Nothing about safe sx. Nothing about birth control. I had never heard of a clitoris until I was 14. Thank god for the internet. And that's the message that we deliver to little kids and expect them not to know what a woman's clitoris is. You guys got sx ed? In primary school they decided to separate the boys and girls classes and show the boys the girls sx ed video and vice versa. Our teacher told us all the different types of sx, oral vaginal and l, and some girl asked him if finger banging counted as sx he said. No. It doesn't. The girl then proudly proclaimed that she was still a virgin. That was grade 5 folks. Abstinence is the only way to get to heaven. Unless you are married. Total BS. There's a stairway you can buy. I went to a school in a wealthy suburb in Texas. Our school was forced to teach Sarv SX. Not Sarv SX. So. Abstinence only. No discussion on condoms or any other type of birth control. Like a third of the female students graduated with at least one secret abortion under their belts. We got separated. Girls in one room and boys in another. And proceeded to tell us girls it will hurt no matter what and we have to be the careful ones with contraception and STD contraction. Whilst the boys got it's cool you're fine. Luckily my mum and I are close so having that talk was a lot more insightful and easier than that they gave us at school. We had an abstinence educator talk to my 10th grade class about some activities that didn't involve virginal intercourse. Some kid in the back of the room recommended an L. It was all over at that point. Edit. Holy reddit I had to charge my phone in my kitchen because the alerts were keeping me up. Shine on you glorious weirdos. We never really spoke about it. Which I guess is worse. To be fair my friend didn't get pregnant until after mandatory. When she was 16. It's mandatory for girls to get pregnant at 16. When I was in middle school an 8th grader told me that men have a set number of sperm so if I am sturbated too much I'd never have kids. Edit holy. This blew up. Thanks for all the happy cake days. Y'all. If that were true I think most men would be infertile by their 20s lol. Only coloreds transmit STDs. 80s rural midwest town. They showed us this very sad video where a girl got pregnant. But couldn't handle motherhood so she suffocated her baby with a pillow. What the? Mine was, at an all girls school. Every time you have sx with a man. You lose some of your special glue. If you lose all your special glue. No one will want to marry you. Seems like more sx would get you more special glue. Go to your room. Not exactly sx ed. But in the 5th grade. Our class was separated into boys and girls and shown VHS tapes about our changing bodies. For the girls. 
I distinctly remember the tape talking about acne and that guys won't find you attractive if you have pimples. Huge confidence color later when I ended up getting acne as a teenager. In my French language class in high school. The teacher explicitly told our class, 100% white, that we should have lots of children in the future to outbreed them. Straight up dominionist bull. That was 35 years ago. But it still takes up space in my head. Did anyone else get the tape thing? My teacher took two pieces of duct tape and stuck them to her sleeves. She would then peel them off and re-stick them to her sleeves getting the back side of the tape more linty each time. She said that the pieces of tape were people and every time she put them on her sleeve it represented them having sx with a different person. Eventually when she put them together they didn't stick very well from all shirt fibers and this meant they were so emotionally disconnected they couldn't form a lasting bond. So don't have sx or you'll be a broken shell of a person unable to love. That men had to be circumcised before having sx. Or the foreskin would rip. Leading to all kinds of infections. Permanent injury. Or even death. Edit. For all the unlucky enough men commenting about their frenulum ripping. That's not what I'm talking about. It sucks. It's incredibly painful. And it's a very very real danger. But it is not what I was told was going happen to my penis. This was an adult male science teacher telling a bunch of 11 and 12 year boys that if they tried to have sx without getting circumcised. That their foreskin was going to rip in half like a banana peel and they were either going to become impotent. Get of gangrene of the dick. Or bleed to death as a result. Edit 2 thanks for the reward. It's my first one. Is that a little covered mask? That's cute. Thanks. Every time you have sx. It's like taking tissues out of a box. And nobody really wants an empty tissue box. Got shown bad pics of STDs and a live birth where a woman ripped really bad. We were basically told to not have SX no matter what until we got married. Funny thing is that my high school junior high had the highest teen pregnancy rate in our district. I was homeschooled. All my dad told me was you stick it in. Huges. Then it's over. What SX said. All we were really taught was the name of the different parts of the body for boys and girls. At least that is all I remember from middle school health class. I remember in second grade being taught to never mix blood with other people because I could get HIV which would kill me. Fun times. When a mother breastfeeds her child. She'll often become as sorely aroused. This is normal. The vagina forms a suction around the penis. The breastfeeding fact is really useful for first time mothers. Because it's true and it can be alarming. Most people with breasts like having nipple stimulation during sx. And until you give birth. That's really the only use for your nipples. If you breastfeed. The baby's sucking can create feelings of s or arousal on a purely physical level. But some new moms get worried and disgusted at the thought that they've got some kind of pedophilic attraction to the baby. And that's obviously a really embarrassing experience. So they're not going to ask others around them to find out that it's normal. And it's not real attraction. It's just some mixed up physical responses. Close bracket. So. It's a really useful thing to tell a first time parent. I would typically wait until I was dealing with people who intended to give birth. Rather than a whole group of high schoolers. That lesbians were 100% safe from s sexually transmitted diseases. Dot. Then what the are dental dams for? A woman should always carry a condom in their purse. So should you ever be our pet assaulted. You can at least prevent pregnant. Oh sorry Mr. Rapist. Could you wear this condom before forcing yourself on me? Thanks. I read an article once where that happened the girl getting our pet had a condom. And said if you're going to our pay me. At least wear it. He agreed. That we girls are like a clean piece of tape until we have sx and then we get dirtier every time until we no longer are useful as tape. Then they demonstrated by putting two dirty pieces of tape together that couldn't stick any longer. I was told that I would die if I got pregnant. Trick is to never get married. That way none of the sx was premarital. 
sometimes a boy will be attracted to a boy. This is just an unhealthy phase. And will pass. A textbook in Mazera. I'm glad we had a competent and down to earth teacher for SX ed. She started class by filling up a condom with water. Saying. If a guy tells you he doesn't want to wear a condom because his dick is too big for it. Remember this. Then she held up this biggest water balloon condom and proceeded watering the plants while telling us about some guy she dated who insisted that he could fill up an entire condom with his load. Muttering. Fill it with bull alright. Close bracket. She made class so much fun. She also looked like MS. Frizzle. In HS. We were allowed to write down questions before the class started and they would be read without identifying us. My question was will we be learning safe sx for gay lesbian relationships? My teacher looked uncomfortable and basically said no because the state guidelines wouldn't allow him to talk about those kind of relationships and only heterosexual relationships. Basically it was the worst advice cause we never got it. If a guy wants to uh, pay you just close your legs really tight and contract everything down there. It's impossible to open your legs if you do this. If a girl gets up head she must have wanted it to happen at least a bit. I left the classroom and went to the principal's office to complain. She got fired. Edit. Some people don't believe it's a true story. That's okay I know nothing ever happens in real life. To clarify she wasn't a teacher. She was invited by the school to talk to us because she was in some kind of association dedicated to the youth. But she used that to promote her very conservative views life. Homophobic. Comma and the principal didn't know that. Don't do it. And that's everything you need to know about SX. Somewhat related. But the first girl I started doing stuff with in high school made me wear a condom while giving me a hand job. She made it out to be like it was the normal thing to do and I guess it made sense because it meant cum didn't go flying everywhere. However. It made things really awkward with the next girl I was with and I pulled out a condom when she was playing with me. She was like. Whoa. I'm not ready to have sx with you yet. I then explained that I wasn't trying to mean that and I just thought it was normal to put a condom on for a hand job. She informed me that it was not and it was a bit weird. Totally killed the mood and she left right after the movie we were watching ended. If you get our pet just suck it up and report the guy after it's done. <laughs> M-sturbation elongates your penis. This happened at a school camp and the one teacher said it. Half of my class were just tugging their slugs for the rest of THST afternoon. <laughs> we played a board game in high school health class where essentially. You landed on a space. Were given a SZL situation. And if you chose to engage in the SZL situation. You would have to take a card. Which we quickly learned all had graphic pictures of stees on them. My situation was that I, a very obviously gay 17 year old, was watching a movie with my very real, very heterosexual boyfriend and cuddling under a blanket. So should I keep my hands above the blanket? Or should I put my hands below the blanket with him? I obviously picked hands above the blanket because I really didn't want to see a picture of herpes at 10 in the morning. But, you know, all those hand jobs in monogamous relationships that led to you getting insty. 8th grade, public school. Look at this picture of a dick with yellow discharge coming out of it. Don't have SX. 9th grade, Catholic school. Condoms don't even protect from STDs because the infection virus can go through the microscopic holes that are found in all condoms. My SX ed teacher strongly implied PRN was why Ted Bundy murdered people and also pressed the idea that virginity was tied to a woman's value. She didn't say it wasn't the same for guys. But she made several different and logies and the female students in each example were always shown as the ones depreciating and the male students were always shown to have less interest. Just don't have SX. A ridiculous amount of school including mine say this and it's the stupidest thing. Do they seriously expect it to work? And now when the kids who got that advice have SX. They don't know how to do it safely. The worst SX said advice that schools give is the omission of advice at all. 
Abstinence is the only 100% effective form of birth control. Well. No. But we're teenagers. And we're gonna. So you'd better start giving us some alternative. That the age of consent is technically 13. It is if you jump through a lot of shady hoops. But they teacher got arrested a few years later for perving on a bunch of students so. If you swallow semen at least once a week. You'll get better grades. He failed me anyway. To remember the word urethra by thinking of Aretha Franklin. In Alabama. We just got a slitter shower of disease genitals and abstinence only. 7th grade music teacher told us that AIDS and other SX diseases were caused by performing unnatural sexual acts like fellatio. Then proceeded to explain what fellatio was. We had started class talking about opera. I was in 7th grade SX ed a long time ago and we were having a test. One question was along the lines of how does a female not get our ped, or something to that effect. The answers were. Don't walk alone at night. B. Don't wear revealing clothes. C. Don't talk to strangers. D. All of the above. I wrote in, E. There shouldn't be a reason and got it wrong. Since there is too many people joking around and lying. I need to say this is real. We had separate SX ed classes for girls and boys around age 14. So in our boys class one of the teachers said. Only have SX with other boys. Before marriage. It's the only way to practice SX without spreading disease. Then he proceeded to say that. You might not like hearing that. But you will be taught this in college by professors. More LGBT SX said than any school I've heard of. Went to public school. Got kicked out of class one day because I called the teacher out for only teaching abstinence and not safe SX. Then I got kicked out of the class for the rest of the semester for not signing an abstinence contract. My parents were always open with the SX topics with us growing up so they made my favorite dinner for me that night. Every time you have SX you lose a piece of yourself you'll never get back like we'll be talking about SX or amputation. Seriously the stupidest thing I've ever heard to this day. My teacher warned us that it was always the quiet girls who end up pregnant at 16. I am a quiet girl. I vividly recall the entire class turning and staring at me when this happened. I had a friend who moved from a place with very limited SX education. She believed using tampons would make you lose your virginity and was horrified when I offered her one when she got caught short one day. She had been taught that at school. I couldn't believe it. Promoting a distance was awesome until I realized it was not my decision to still be a virgin. In my SX ed class I dissected a flower. Not sure what that has to do with anything I just remember a lot of talk about the stamen and the pistol. I got lucky with my SX ed teacher. He told us up front that the state and the school system was pushing an abstinence only approach. And he knew it didn't work. So instead said I'm going to teach you the important health related parts of it. As for safety. Use some form of protection. All the extra stuff you already know from the internet. Man was the most understanding and I jeff as long as the kids don't get pregnant Vietnam vet teacher I've ever met. Then again. The other two were all too busy trying to be drill sergeants to their students. So. Abstinence. Yeah okay. In 7th grade we had a speaker come talk to the whole school in the auditorium. This mother -er told us that if we pleasured ourselves that we were statistically much more likely to be rapists and pedophiles. Every guy in that room including myself felt instantly ashamed. That guy. If you're old enough to have sx then you're old enough to be a parent. When I objected to that notion I was told my opinion wasn't valid because I was a virgin at the time. Well I haven't been a virgin for 12 years now and I still think that quote is I and I think that anyone who thinks this way is a moron. Unrelated. But an RSX said. Our 5th grade teacher took a moment to see if the class had any questions. For someone who has had SX before. Someone asked how long SX should last. The teacher was halfway through answering. Oh. Two minutes. Maybe three. 
when a classmate yelled out. How long do you want it to last? I think I learned all I needed to know from that class. Just pray the baby away. Women only bleed a tablespoon worth of period blood a day for almost a week. Laughs in heavy flow. I'm from British Columbia so we didn't have terrible SX advice. The worst thing was probably the teacher bringing in a massive DLDO so we, girls and guys, could practice putting on a condom. It gave terrible expectations on dick size. However, she corrected everyone the next class and told us that dicks come in all sizes. Not to worry. Then taught us to respect our partners. She also taught us about same sx couples. What happens if you get pregnant? Menstrual cycles. How guys need to get consent. Safe sx. Sexually transmitted diseases. Safe oral sx. Etc. This was in 1996. I know it's going to be too much progress for Americans. Edit. I remember that our CDC recently put out safe SX during cover guidelines including use of glory holes and limiting face to face contact by choosing doggy style. I'm jealous about your progressive and fact based government actions.